What's happening everybody? Donnie Weber here with another video on uh, Thursday Tech Talk, something of, of that nature. Um, I'm gonna go over the comparisons between the Tri-Glide and the Rogue Glide 3. Um, if you go to Harley Davidson's website, you can actually compare models. And I went ahead and did that. There's a lot of discussion between why you should buy a Tri-Glide or why you should buy a Rogue Glide 3 or why you shouldn't buy a Tri-Glide or you shouldn't buy a Rogue Glide 3. And we can throw a freewheeler in there as well, kind of along the Rogue Glide 3 uh, side of things. But uh, I went ahead and went on there and was looking at all the comparisons between the two. And honestly, they're not that far off. Um, if, you, if you look at the three different models, you got the Freewheeler, the Rogue Glide 3, and the Tri-Glide. Um, really, the big difference is the storage capacity, hauling capacity luggage capacity, whatever you want to look at it as, um, there's there's a big difference. So the Freewheeler and the Rogue Glide 3 has right around maybe a little bit over two cubic feet of uh, cargo space. And then the Tri-Glide has 6.7, I believe. I'll go over those here real quick. So, you know, it's, it's a big difference, yes, um, as far as hauling stuff, but the way I look at it is it's not... It's not necessarily the machine you're on, it's the gear you use. So anyway, let me digress and go back between the Tri-Glide and the Rogue Glide 3. So as far as absolutely everything um, that you look at, they're again, like I said, they're very, very similar as far as all the different options and stuff they've got. Um, the price difference is roughly right around $4,000 uh, between a road glide three that has like um, the black on black. We'll just say black, vivid black paint with black trim. So we're sitting, where are we at here? We're sitting at $34,999 for the vivid black with black trim. Um, as far as the tri-glide that would, that would be there, you would be right at Let's see here, $37,499. So we're roughly about $4,000 uh, off, $3,500, $4,000 off. Now, if you go into the, the two-tone tri-glides or the 120th anniversary tri-glide, and they haven't came out with a CVO tri-glide yet this year um, that we've seen so far, but uh, then you're going to start talking about a big difference. So we're going to be going from $34,999 to the two-tone is $38,499 for the Tri-Glide. And the 120th anniversary with chrome trim is $41,299. So there is a bit of a disparity as far as the price when you're getting up there. But overall, a vivid black Tri-Glide and a vivid black Rogue Glide 3 with black trim you're about $3,500, $4,000 difference. So as far as all the uh, um, controls and stuff like that, everything comes standard on uh, the Tri-Glide that also comes standard on the Rogue Glide 3. Um, the ABS option, they both come standard with. Cruise control, standard. Um, it's it's kind of crazy as I go into here, but I'll kind of go into like the dimensions and and all that stuff, just there's a little despair is, is really all we're looking at. So as far as the length, um, the Rogue Glide 3 is approximately two inches shorter than the uh, Tri-Glide is. Now this is total length, this isn't wheelbase, this is length. So you're talking about a large compartment carrying a lot of stuff on the Tri-Glide. Uh, you're only talking about a two inch difference in overall length. So the seat height, um, the Rogue Glide 3 actually sits a half inch lower at 26.5 when the Tri Glide's at 27.1. So, you know, if, if you're a geek as far as numbers go and stuff like that, kind of like I am, so I really overanalyze a lot of stuff and I look at things and, and I try to see what works and what doesn't work. So, uh, I kind of go into these things. There's actually more ground clearance to a Road Glide 3 than a Tri Glide. Tri Glide has 4.9 inches of ground clearance. The Road Glide 3 has 5.6. Um, the rake is at 26 degrees. They're both the same. 
It's even the same as all the other touring models. The Rogue Glide Limited is a 26 rake. Now, the big difference is the trail. So, um, the trail for the Rogue Glide 3 and the Tri Glide on trikes is, is roughly right at 3.9. The Rogue Glide Limited is 6.7 inches of trail. So, there's a, there's a bit of a despair on that, but really it's not that much. The wheelbase, um, they're the same, 65.7 inches between the Tri Glide and the Rogue Glide 3. Um, whereas on a, on a standard touring model, Rogue Glide Limited, Rogue Glide Special, Street Glide Special, Ultra Limited, those are all at 64 inches. So not too terribly bad on that. Um, here's one of the, the things that I like about the Rogue Glide 3 over the Tri Glide is the front tire, the front rim is a 19 inch and the rear rims are 18 inches on the Rogue Glide 3. On the Tri Glide, the front wheel is 16 inches and the rear wheels are 15 inches. So you start looking at the smaller rims is creating a bigger tire. Yes, it's gonna be a smoother ride because it is a bigger tire as far as um, the, the, the tread to, to rim. So the sidewall is, is a lot taller on the tri-glides. But basically everything is, is pretty much the same. Um, same six gallon fuel tanks, um, the weight, literally the Tri-Glide is 80 pounds heavier than the Rogue Glide 3. And, I mean, you can just chalk that up to the tour pack, the backrest, the extra speakers, you know, there is, there is more extra body into that as well. So, where we get into the, the big despair between the two is the luggage capacity, the volume. So, 6.8 cubic feet on the uh, Tri-Glide and two cubic feet on the Road Glide 3 and the Free Wheeler. Um, so if you look at a Road Glide Limited that's got the saddlebags and the tour pack, you're looking at 4.7 cubic feet. So, you know, the Tri Glide, yes, it carries a lot more stuff than a Road Glide Limited or Ultra Limited um, and the Road Glide 3 and, and the Free Wheeler. So, you know, that's where, where I'm saying, Yes, it's nice, you've got all that compartment to be able to carry all that stuff, but again, it's not necessarily the machine you're riding, it's the gear you use. So, with the two cubic feet in the trunk space, which is basically both saddlebags on your motorcycle, um, because those are like 1.06 cubic feet um, on the, uh, the hard saddlebags on the touring models. And then you put, you know, some sort of a bag or something on the rack if you got a rack on the back of it or if you end up strapping it to the sissy bar and sitting on on the seat behind the rider so you can you can make different things work um, the other difference is is the tri glide is twin cooled and the road glide 3 freewheeler is air cooled um, all the bore and the stroke they're both the same the compression ratio is the same Fuel system is the same. The exhaust is pretty much the same. Um, torque, there is more torque to the Tri Glide than the Rogue Glide 3, um, but also the uh, the engine torque to get that 121, they have to go to 3250 RPMs, whereas the Rogue Glide 3 only has to go to 2750. So it's it's kind of a little bit of a difference here. Um, the chain ratio is a 3446, which is the same for both, all, well, all three trike models, and it's the same for the touring. Now, the difference when you go from a two wheel to a three wheel is in the gear ratios. So the gear ratios are, are different in all six gears for the trikes, um, which all the trike models are the same uh, compared to the two wheel models. So, you know, it's, it's, it's not going to be that top speed that you're getting out of a two-wheel ultra classic or anything. Um, it's got the, the trikes, what I'm seeing as far as their gearing and stuff, they have more low end torque, which a lot of us were actually finding this out. So front forks, rear shock, they're all, they're both the same. Um, LED lighting, you know, it's literally the infotainment center, exactly the same. The only difference is a trike light has four speakers and the Rogue Glide 3 has two, and they're five and a quarter inch speakers. So, 
Yeah, as soon as you can get those replaced, that's <laughs> that's the bomb. I've got the uh, the Hog Tunes Wild Boar six and a half inch in there with the uh, with the amp. That makes a big difference. So, um, the one thing that uh, the Rogue Glide doesn't have, as far as like the Boom GTS audio, is it does not have a headset um, that is that is set up uh, like the Tri Glides have, um, as far as you know, CB intercom system. Rogue Glide three doesn't have that. You can still get Sirius XM satellite on both of them. Um, everything is still, you know, via Bluetooth is the same, phone dependence the same. Um, it's just, it's crazy when you go through this. I ended up printing off, it's like 20, 29 pages when you print it off. It's a lot better if you're on the computer doing it. Um, but the, the one thing I will say is if you're going through the, uh, where's it at here? the writer safety enhancements. So we, over the last few years, we've all come to learn about the RDRS system. They're not calling it RDRS system for the trikes or the touring class anymore. It's, it's called writer safety enhancements. So both of them have anti-lock braking system. Both of them have the electronic linked braking, whether you're using the front brake or rear brake, everything's linked together. So both models have that. Um, both models have the traction control system. They both have the drag torque slip control system. They have the corner enhanced anti-lock braking system. They both have the cornering enhanced electronic linked braking system. And they have the corner enhanced traction control. So it's, it's basically like the same functions as the RDRS, but not quite and they've added a little bit more. With the RDRS system, um, the electronic linked braking system, um, in the early years, if you hit your foot brake, it would throw your front brakes on as well, having that linked brake. However, if you hit your front brake, the rear brakes didn't kick in, but now they do. Whether you're using your front controls or your rear controls, they're both in conjunction, working together with the traction control and the steering stabilization and the brake, the, the electronic linked braking system. So that works out great. Um, the one thing I found out is the Rogue Glide 3 has the TPMS included and most Tri-Glide models do not. So those are the big things as far as what Harley Davidson has listed. Sorry if I'm being loud with the papers. Um, Harley Davidson has listed um, on their website as far as their comparables to it. So really the big thing is is storage and if If you're not literally like I'm here in Florida if I'm not Jumping on my bike here in Florida, and I'm gonna go ride to Oregon Honestly, if it's just me, there's plenty of room because if you look at it if, if any of you have the saddlebag bags you know from your two-wheel bike both of those will fit into the trunk, and you still have room for a tool kit, um, your rain, rain gear. Um, you won't have room for, for a bike cover on there, but if you've got the rack system and you've got a duffel bag back there, you can get one of those cargo bungee nets, and you can put a bike cover up, up behind there too. <clears throat> In addition to, if I'm by myself, I can actually put another bag on the passenger pillion and strap that to the uh, to the passenger backrest, so that would work out uh, just fine too. Um, the way I look at it is like if I'm taking a week trip, I'll bring three chains of clothes with me, and I'm wearing my fourth. So if I'm there, I could do a little laundry. It's not a big deal, you know, depending on where you're staying at and stuff like that. Um, we all know jeans. You can wear a pair of jeans for a couple days. You know, it's the uh, necessity clothing. You know that that we want to definitely uh, make sure that that we're taken care of but i just kind of wanted to touch base on on the differences as far as like everything that's going there's a lot of people out there that is talking about that you know you should buy this model or you should buy this model if you're going to do this or if you're going to do that the road glide 3 and the tri-glide are very similar really the only difference tri-glide has an extra set of speakers in the back they've got a tour pack and their trunk is about two feet, uh, two cubic feet bigger, um, just because of the body of it. Now, as far as the ride, 
The tri glide's a little cushier because they've got the taller sidewalls on the tires and everything like that. The Road Glide 3 is a lot more sportier. Um, and really, when you're thinking of it, there's only an 80 pound difference between the two vehicles. That's not really that big of a deal. Um, but just wanted to touch base with you guys on, on that. Um, got some exciting stuff. I've got a couple other different things that are, that are getting shipped to me uh, that I'll be doing videos on um, that kind of go along this space with storage and trips and you know having the proper gear and things of that nature. So again, thanks for hanging out with me. Please like, share, subscribe, hit that bell. Um, and again, I appreciate you guys jumping on another video with me. As always, ride safe, be blessed, give more. Peace.